Good morning. It is Thursday, February 14th, 2013. And I just read in the Wall Street Journal how Republicans are already criticizing President Obama's plan to have preschool available to every child in the United States. Um, they're opposing it already. It, it, it stuns me. It astounds me. They're saying what good, they're questioning what good it does. That every kid in the United States should be able to, at the age of four, four and a half, go to a preschool and start to educate himself, start to learn, start to socialize, start to learn proper social behavior, learn to read, learn to draw, learn to listen to music, learn to learn to get along with other kids, learn to take uh, directions uh, from people who are not his parents, who he can't just stand up to and, and uh, um, disobey because he knows he can get away with it. I have uh, a grandson, two grandsons, two grandsons, who are both in pre-K. And one of them is a very... It's a, a New York City funded pre-kindergarten plan. He's doing beautifully in it. Beautifully. Every day he comes home with new adventures, new ideas, new thoughts. He, he benefits from it enormously. Yet the Republicans would deny this to kids in this country. I mean, just pre-K for every child in the country. Four and a half, five and a half. It is one of the most sane, humane ideas I've ever heard in my life, yet the Republicans are instantly against it. And why? Because they want anything President Obama suggests to fail. They want it to fail. They want to stand up against everything. It's, it's extremely aggravating and annoying that this is the way our country is being run, that people can't agree on simple things like that. Why would the Republican Party want to deny preschool to kids? I've seen it, how effective it is. I've seen how effective it is for everybody in my grandson's class. Both my grandsons are in pre-K. One is in a private pre-K, the other is in a public pre-K, and the public pre-K is every bit as effective and good as the private one. And I, it, the fact that the Republicans are willing to throw these kids out of school in order to promote their anti-Obama rhetoric and campaign is just terribly disappointing to me. And I think the Republican Party is doomed. I think even, I think most people in this country are going to say, you just have gone too far with that one. That you, would, that you would oppose that because they don't know how effective it is. I'm telling you, it's very effective. I've seen it at work with a handful of 20 kids in a public pre-K, how effective it is and how good it is. And the parents, it's good for the parents. They can go out and earn. They don't have to hire babysitters. They don't have to be home. They can take jobs during that period. The kids, it's just all good, all good. And yet the Republicans are against it. Congratulations, Republicans. You've done it again. You've done it again, this time in big capital letters. You goofballs. I think the Republican Party is going to have to change enormously in order to succeed. I think with that kind of thinking, you're bound to lose more and more elections and wonder what went wrong. All this nonsense about makes the government too big. You don't care about big government. You care about something else, but I don't, I'm not sure really what it is you care about. I think it has to do with greed. I think it has to do with greed and racism, frankly. Think about that.